It's time for another full morning of editing and I need my coffee. <laughs> we are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. We're a family of five driven by purpose and fueled by love. We decided to trade in the traditional school life for a life where every day is an adventure of faith and love. From a small photography business grew a love of memory keeping and filmmaking that turned into a full blown dream of becoming a family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. So we're learning to document our adventures in homeschool, business, and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. So today is an actual full on work day for me. Um, the kids are going to be heading to their grandparents' house for a quarantine sleepover, and they're excited. Um, but I've been working on a lot of things, you guys. Um, I'm working on some updates to our website, um, blog posts, and actually our website for the films that we will be working on, which is exciting. So today I thought I would actually talk to you about how I edit and it's a big part of what I do so I thought that we could talk about it a little bit. I'm going to be working on um, editing our new channel uh, trailer slash intro and I'm excited about that because I am almost done with it but I wanted to talk about editing a bit. It takes up a lot of um, my day. For me the edit is all about memory keeping. Um, it is all about storytelling and memory keeping and just including all of those elements that I want to um, look back on and the feeling that I wanted to evoke and the direction that I wanted to lead us on. So this is not going to be a complete breakdown of how to edit. Hey mama, you always find me. <laughs> so, so for me the edit is all about memory keeping. I love all the bells and whistles of editing, but really what I want to um, be able to create is something that will keep our memories in a special way and tell the stories of this time in our life. So I approach it a little differently, I think. I will choose a dark, blurry, fuzzy photo that, that stirs up an emotion and reminds me of a specific time in our lives over a staged photo any day. Now I love a good staged photo. I love a good staged scene um, because it's fun to work on those things and understand the elements that go into um, creating film. But uh, memory keeping over everything over here. <laughs> so I'm going to be working on our trailer slash intro and I'm, like I said I'm almost done. I'm going to be pulling a portion of the trailer out to include um, as the intro to some of our videos and the reason I wanted to do this was not only to um, address the expectations for our channel but really I kind of do this intro situation every now and then and it's really served as um, a wonderful marker for where we are on our journey so I'm gonna get to it I'm excited um, I am loving the way that it's turning out and it makes the vision very clear for us and that is the real purpose of it um, as far as we are concerned. At this point, I need a little bit of motivation because it currently looks like this outside. First of all, let's talk what I use. These are just the basics of the tools that I use in order to edit our videos or keep our memories. Um, I feel like there's a flow and a discipline to memory keeping that you just have to jump into. It's a place where equipment really doesn't matter because if you don't develop that discipline and uh, assume that rhythm, then memory keeping will always overwhelm and fluster or frustrate you. 
you, it doesn't matter what camera you have. It doesn't matter the model. It doesn't matter how great the quality of the footage you get is. Um, what matters is that you're actually keeping the memories. There's more elements than just the image. There's more elements than just the video. Your writing, um, your voices. Let's just keep it simple and say whatever it is that you find yourself in a place that you can afford or that you can handle is what you should get. Um, because if you get something that's too overwhelming, you're not going to use it. So starting with iMovie is great or whatever software that you can find that you feel like makes a little bit of sense to you. We've been using an app called Film that we like. It's crashed once on us, which was not very fun. But again, that is part of the memory keeping process. There are going to be um, images that you lose, hard drives that get destroyed, um, those, that is a part of memory keeping. Having hard drives that are too full for you to take more pictures, trying to figure out which pictures to keep, which video clips to keep, and which ones to let go of. There are times when I couldn't get my camera out fast enough to catch a memory and I would get frustrated, but I've learned that if I miss um, turning the camera on for a memory, I can always fill in the gaps by writing in the details. So journaling is big for us through a simple photo, a video clip, um, an audio recording, learning to change perspective and use focus and different lenses to help you tell the story. These are things that really add to my memory keeping and make them magical for me. That's kind of how I approach the editing process, just using all of those bits and pieces to help me tell the story um, that I want to remember years from now. I am a very um, emotionally connected creative human <laughs> so when I start to edit the first thing I do is find some music it's generally a movie score something really slow and emotional so it's time for me to get my voice yeah, over parts that's not cool. <laughs> little girl yes one of my favorite things to include in our edits is their voices I love including their perspective and their voices. We take out our microphone. Hello, hello. <laughs> you want to show them an example of your voiceover? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. What do I say? Okay, what did you say last time? You said... I said, I like the way the balloons have confetti in there. <laughs> the voiceover parts are my favorite of theirs, but my least favorite of mine. I don't think anybody likes them to hear their own voice. I do it anyway because I always want the kids to look back on these films of ours and hear their mama's voice. That's why I choose to put in a bit of extraness <laughs> into making sure that our voices are clear in our films and in our memory keeping. That's just a little insider information. <laughs> What was I saying? <laughs> what was I saying? I normally just do our voiceover parts in the built with the built-in microphone on the computer. It works just fine. But um, since I am doing something that is a bit more produced with our trailer and our intro, I want to try to make sure that I get the audio right. Audio is actually really difficult and I'm glad that I only have to do it to this small extent because it's not as easy as it seems. I have a Rode microphone that I use on my big camera um, and I was going to use that but um, Brian uses this microphone for uh, recording some things for his job. And so I figured I would try it out and see if it helps me to produce a little bit more um, clear of a voiceover for this project. So that's what I'm doing. I don't know if you guys know this about me or not, but um, YouTube filming myself in this space is actually really hard for me. It goes against everything I want to do. I'm definitely 100% a behind the scenes type of girl. However, um, the dream that I have for us and our family requires that I do a bit more and step outside of my comfort zone. 
So just being in front of this camera every time I record a video and uh, share it with the internet world, it is 100% outside of my comfort zone. Um, so yeah, just in case you thought this was easy for me, it's not. <laughs> And um, a lot of the things that I am trying to teach the kids to uh, do with memory keeping um, and it being a big part of how we live and, and learn, um, I just want to make sure that I'm always doing, setting a good example and doing the things first that I want to see them take part in or do. Um, so if I want to see them write more and speak more and um, communicate better then I want to do that very same thing to set a good example for them to follow so let me stop stalling and record <laughs> is this thing on and I feel real legit right now so there's that pray for me because this is not my favorite part <laughs> We are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. We like to say we're a family of five driven by purpose and fuel I love. you guys okay so one of the challenges that I have um, in recording voiceover for the edit is that I naturally speak really slowly <laughs> so um, I need this trailer to be clear and concise and um, not take up too much time and I am having the hardest times trying to speed up my speech in order to um, fit into the time frame that I need to fit in this is hard. <laughs> it's one of the things I really dislike and why I will often not watch my videos back is because I see how slowly I speak and I always wish I would speak a little bit faster, but it's hard, but I'm working on it. We're building our business from the ground up, sharing how we start with a vision and all the work to make an idea come to life. Running our shop and our community of friends, sharing Money, our shop, and our community of friends sharing the homeschool lessons we've learned that bring us to such a beautiful place. Look who's decided to join me. <laughs> we never really work in the same place, but. I'm more of a solo type of worker. <laughs> Y'all bring a lot of distractions. Which one's your movie score? The slow one? This guy, he turns on all my music for me. He makes sure I have the right vibe <laughs> so I can get all my editing done in a in a reasonable time frame. See that's talking about distractions? <laughs> it's like a work date. Kind of. I'm not distracted by Hamilton, you are. <laughs> Obsessed. Well, so let's talk about audio for a second. Do you guys journal? Um, I think journaling is such a a wonderful skill and discipline to learn. Um, and journaling doesn't have to come in the form of just simply writing things down. Um, these days, I feel like I journal in all different types of ways throughout my planner, in my actual journal, um, by recording voice memos, uh, using my blog. Of course, little snippets on Instagram. There's just all different ways that you can actually keep um, your memories. And I know life moves fast and everything, but just taking the time out to do little things here and there, you can always come back to them later on and pull them together to create more of like a tangible memory keeping uh, situation. Situation is not what I was trying to say, but Hopefully you know what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, I think that's good enough. We are going to just, I'm going to take a break and then I am going to put the last little pieces of the edit on. 
I'm feeling good about it so far. Yes. We're done. I feel very good about it and I'm excited for you all to see it. It's taken a lot of work and effort but I think it's definitely worth it. I hope you enjoy seeing a peek into how I edit and how I approach memory keeping for our family. <laughs> <laughs>